Hello, it's Ruby and today I'm going to be sharing a morning routine with you. So my family and I are currently on holiday in the south of Italy. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful here. So I've been waking up at around eight o'clock. We've been going to bed quite late um, and getting back from dinner quite late. So first thing I do is go to the bathroom and have a drink of water and put on some lip balm. And then, still in my pyjamas, I will go up and look at the view. We've got this beautiful balcony and it looks straight out over the ocean. It's just unbelievable. Every single time I look at this, I can't believe it's real. Then after that, I'll go back to my room and I'll have a cold shower. And of course, make my bed. Then I went back up to the balcony to read. I'm currently rereading Call Me By Your Name. I read it two years ago and it's this book that of course made me want to go to Italy as is the case with so many people and so I thought it was fitting to reread it whilst I was here. After a little while, I will go and get something to eat. So we picked up these fresh peaches from a restaurant and I have one of these. And also some of this crispy toast and jam. I also brought my own tea bags with me. Tea is a huge essential for me, I love tea. And so I brought like 20 tea bags with me and this morning I just had a classic green tea. And then I took that out onto the balcony to eat and drink. After that, I've been trying to do a little bit of journaling, kind of like morning pages, I suppose, where you just blurt out all of your thoughts and reflections because being on holiday is a slower pace of life of course and I'm not scheduling and planning things in the same way that I usually am so I find that I've got a lot more space for thinking and reflecting and whilst I was doing that I was just listening to some Swift John Stevens through my headphones. After that, we will go out for coffee and breakfast, and sometimes this will be my dad and me, sometimes it'll be my whole family. This particular morning, it was just me and my dad because the others weren't up yet. So I got a soy milk cappuccino, and my dad just got an espresso. Then before heading back we just popped into the supermarket to pick up some bits for dinner and also some snacks and things for the beach and this area has so many steps like there are staircases everywhere and to get anywhere you've got to walk up a lot of stairs then this is me and my mum out on the balcony um we're spending a lot of time on the balcony before going down to the beach and looking around and going places and i'm also trying to do a lot of writing this holiday when we got back from getting coffee i just sat on the balcony and did some creative writing for a little bit finish up this video I thought I would show you what I pack in my bag to go down to the beach. I'm going to put my bikini and I've got this little waterproof bag. Very very useful for when you're coming back afterwards. Next a cardigan for Lita, my goggles and these are actually prescription goggles. Then I've got my book Call Me By Your Name and I've also got my Kindle in case I want to read something else. I always keep a notebook and pen on me. This is my simplest notebook so this is the one I keep with me when I'm out and about. My family also always keeps playing cards. Um, usually these go in my sister's bag, but they were in my bag, so I'm going to put them back in. Then I've got my GoPro for taking videos underwater. 
And then in the front, I've got my AirPods, some hand sanitizer, a scrunchie, a mask, a glossier, mom.com, and some hand cream. And then I've also got my phone. Then for the rest of the day, we'll just head down to the beach. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that you have a productive week. As promised, these are the books that I brought to Italy with me. So I've got some short stories by Ernest Hemingway, Rose Tremaine's The Kite Fly, which is a short story, set to poems Emily Dickinson, Call Me By Your Name, Ocean Sea, which is also set in Italy, and then, of course, my Kindle in this beautiful case, which makes it look like a book, and I've just downloaded loads of other books on here in case I want to read something completely different.